welcome class 4 and uh, we will start our EBS and uh, 16th May Omana's journey we have started uh, and we have completed that first part uh, where the Omano has crossed the uh, Ahmedabad uh, from Ahmedabad she has started the journey and she has cro uh, crossed the Maharashtra so uh, the journey is like that it is going from she is started from the Ahmedabad and she has to go to the south so there are so many states she has to cross so first uh, at first she has crossed the Gujarat and then she uh, crosses the uh, Maharashtra and next we will see uh, which more stations we will cross and how many type of uh, sceneries we are there and how she enjoyed her journey so this is chapter 7 we will start from the window and I would like to ask you in my last um, in my last video whatever the question answers I have given uh, you have written all those or there was any problem so if any uh, question answers as in Anita's um, I mean uh, Amrita's story the last answers I have given in the e portal so uh, as I thought that the, uh, these two were the uh, big answers so I have given in the e portal who did not write those answers you please uh, just uh, write down from their e portal and the next chapter whatever the Anitas um, and the honeybee whatever the big questions I will give in the e portal again okay so if any question you didn't write you just mention me here those questions I will give in the e portal and we have written the uh, Omana's journey we have written all the answers in my last video I have uh, off video I mean not in the live class one video I have given here I mean last day yesterday I have released one video in that few workbook in the workbook few uh, terms we are there which I was not described but the other questions we have completed so those I have given in the video so you can uh, just uh, write down from there and if you suggest then if you think then I will uh, write it here but it will take time if you want then I will write it here but I have given in the um, uh, your um, video so what you would uh, would like you what you want immediately the answer so I will write it here what do you want tell me first if you want then I'm writing you will write you want to uh, you want answers here so I will write the answers okay few terms are there so I will write it over here okay don't worry okay so at first write uh, only few terms we are given uh, how many questions we have completed write down here Shoham Ghosh write down how up to which question I have completed up till D is completed only okay then I'm writing here I thought it is being completed okay write down then so the chapter 6 till D you have completed why was Omana's mouth watering now we will write the E answer E uh, who had given Omana some story book Sunil had given Sunil had given some story books some story books Sunil had given some story book now F answer 
I was not giving here because already I have given it in the e uh, YouTube. Okay, so you are not watching the YouTube, no? Uh, last day, yesterday, I given these all answers in the YouTube. Okay, I am giving it here. You just write down. Then you will tell you your answers. Now the uh, uh, question F. What did Omana uh, bought from the train window? Write down. Omana Omana bought some some bananas and chikus from the from the train window so write down omana bought some bananas and chikus from the train window now Define the following terms. Ragni, you please. Turn off your camera. Actually, this video I have up uploaded, but as few students are uh, requesting, that's why I'm writing again. So you write down from here, okay? If you watch the video, then you'll see it. Otherwise, you just uh, do it from the. I have uploaded yesterday. I have uploaded this video. So define the term what is coach, a coach is one of the a coach is one of the separate one of the separate section section of a train that carries passengers that carries passengers so first term coach uh, you will define a coach is one of the separate section of a train that carries passengers b is given here but What is birth? A place for sleeping. A place for sleeping on a ship or train. in a ship or 
strain. So, what is birth? Birth is a place for sleeping in a ship or a train. And we have seen it, no, when you go for the long journey, you sleep in your corresponding birth. Now the platform. What is the platform? The place where the place where you get you get on You get on means board it or or get down from the train And the D is reservation chart. reservation chart. What is reservation chart? A chart which has all the passengers name a chart in which in which all in which all passengers passengers name chart in which all passengers name seat num seats listed by name and seat listed by Name and seat listed by Reservation chart, a chart in which all passengers name and seat listed by Number and number and coach number.
so it is a chart in which all passengers name and seat listed by number and coach numbers boarded means uh, when you are uh, just uh, going inside the train that is called the boarding at the train okay boarded means you are going braced it is not braced it is boarded actually you can write only you get on okay i just clear the meaning boarded a chart in which all passengers name and seat listed by number and coach numbers so it is a reservation chart and the last one is luggage you know luggage what is luggage what we carry with us for our personal use that is called the luggage so what is luggage bags suitcase trolley bags bag suitcase trolley bags extra for carrying extra for carrying bag suitcase trolley bags extra for carrying a person clothes or belongings so bag suitcase trolley bags etc for carrying a person's clothes or belongings belongings means uh, any personal things maybe uh, some paper maybe uh, your towel and the cosmetic items so anything which you use personally those thing carried and these things are carried usually in the suitcase or the bags so this is called the luggage okay right fast so that we can uh, start the new chapter next one is question 5 write a short note on omana's journey write down it is your homework because we have uh, written so many things now this is your own uh, creativity you will write your own so write a short note on the omana's journey it is your homework write it down and uh, just paste this uh, page in the e portal so that i can check okay now we will start the uh, new chapter now we will start the new chapter that is from the window it is chapter 7 as we know uh, omana has started her journey from the ahmedabad and now she gradually moving towards the south so there are so many uh, stations so many states she are crosses to uh, reach the south so we will go gradually along with the omana we will um, have our journey also how she has a crosses 
So on 16th uh, May we have written all the things whatever she has done in her journey and whatever the things passed in her journey. Now we will start chapter 7 from the window 17 May. It is morning now. Last night I went to sleep early. It was too dark to see anything outside. When the train stopped early this morning, I woke up. It was Madagao. This was written on the board at the platform. So Madagao is uh, a station that she saw. Appa said that we were going through the state of Goa. So after crossing the Maharashtra, as she was in a uh, Valasad and all the, uh, she has across the Maharashtra, then she entered in the Goa. On 17th morning, when Omana woke up, she saw uh, after, uh, uh, after the whole day, on 16th she slept and on 17th morning, when she woke up, she was in the state of Goa. And what the uh, name was given uh, on the platform, it was written uh, Madgaon. So it is a ma uh, Madgaon, uh, which is a station of uh, <coughs> Goa state. That means she, uh, she entered the Goa. And uh, it was in the night, it was so dark outside. So, uh, so uh, she did not like to see the outside. Uh, rather than she enjoy uh, sleeping and in the morning again she woke up and she become fresh and uh, her uh, her appa said appa means her father said that they were going through the state of goa now we got off of the station and had some hot tea filled our water bottles then train started again i find it difficult to describe the scene outside it was so beautiful it is green everywhere fields with red soil and green crops, hills covered with trees. So when on 17th she woke up and uh, she was in the station called Madagao and in this station uh, she became very happy because uh, she uh, just get down from the train and uh, she along with her uh, mother and maybe father and brother Uni, they all had tea and they filled their water bottles because in the station you get the uh, drinkable water and that water is actually safe for us. So they have filled their water bottle, they had hot tea and then she become very, she refreshes herself and then she again started the journey and she becomes so amazed to see the scenic beauty which was, she was viewing outside. What she was viewing uh, in the Gujarat she have seen all, all where uh, in the west side actually it is a sandy land, no? It is near, Gujarat is near to Rajasthan. Those areas are very dry areas, are very dry area. So when she was crossing this Goa, she was uh, going towards the uh, south. The weather was quite cool. It was very uh, cool inside and outside. The weather was so good. And the outside, it was all green. And she was feeling very, um, very much happy inside because when you see a beautiful scene, when you see lots of greenery, that time you feel to be good, no? And what she has seen, she has seen the color of the soil has been gradually changes. The color of the soil become changes uh, from uh, light brown color to red color. And within that red color soil, the all where the green type of vegetables and we green type of the crops were there. And she enjoyed this greenery along with the uh, beautiful sky and she saw the hills where there were uh, uh, along with the fields there were so many hills and these all hills were actually uh, covered with green trees. So these all were so beautiful and she amazed to see these all kinds of beauty outside of from the train. So she has started and she uh, rejoiced the beauty of outside of the train. Now sometimes, okay, sometimes I can see small pond and far away behind hills more water I can make out if it is a river or the sea that is cooler and not so dry as in Ahmedabad. 
she was living in ahmedabad and it was a drier place as it is present in the uh, gujarat or it is in the west side so uh, she can small she saw sometimes she was seeing small ponds were there uh, do you know in south india in west bengal there are so many ponds but in the gujarat maharashtra and uh, up side you will see rarely any pond because there are very less number or rare uh, rarely you will find any kind of pond or the water body but she was crossing the goa so she was seeing so many ponds or the water body far away and behind hills she was thinking maybe there is a uh, there may be the water behind the hills because she was unable to see behind the hills she was unable to see but she was guessing that must be there be some river or the sea so the cool uh, winds were blowing from there and everything is so humid uh, as the water uh, the winds were carrying the water so the breeze was cool it was not so hot and it was not so dry so humid uh, weather become changes into cool breeze and it was so pleasant for her now the train passed a level crossing people are awaiting on both the side of the crossing for the train to pass and then she reached in a crossing where uh, reached in a crossing there was a which was a level crossing so when you uh, crosses the level crossing have you seen no uh, there are so many vehicles are being stopped they all make lots of noises because no one everybody is hurry hurry no they everybody wants to go fast so uh, no one was uh, just able to switch off the uh, engine of their vehicles in uh, um, initially they started and they just uh, they just don't want to wait there but we have to switch off our engines and we have to wait for the trains but no one does it no one does it because everybody is in hurry so uh, up till this uh, we have completed and uh, uh, we will uh, the next part of the chapter i'll take in my next class because time is getting uh, over so uh, just stay at your home be safe and write down all the answers and whatever i have given the homework you will do it and just uh, just every time you will see the e portal ones because few of the questions i will give in the e portal also okay that's all for the day goodbye have a nice day